but how for me to be fine, Father, right? please to step up and be father today. This is a reflection of what his daddy. <laughs> you teach your boys how to be men. They need their father. If they not at home with their son, no matter who they're around, girlfriend or whatever, these boys need their dad. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. That first clip that you saw there was a woman whose son just shot somebody. And I don't really know who she is, and it's not important. And it's not important. But her son is a Pookie and Ray Ray. He's going around shooting up folks. This is what he's doing right now. And of course, some of the things she was saying in the beginning were unintelligible. So we could not understand or decode what she was saying. But at a certain point, you start to hear her say that this is what happens when these men don't have fathers. They end up making the wrong decision, something to that effect. And this is a, a true statement, um, ma'am. That is a very true statement especially in cities like Memphis. But now, see, the problem with her is there are many ladies in Memphis who have children such as yourself, ma'am, whose kids are not out shooting somebody. W w where are we going to go with this today? I, I know I know that you're, uh, you, you, you're wondering, and, and this is what I want to deal with. See, this level of unaccountability in the black community, which we can see that happens from some of the women in the community, this this level of unaccountability, I cannot say all, but um, let's just say we've seen it enough. I'll say that. How do you expect you're gonna improve a community with people who talk like this? We have feminists who talk like this. We have black politicians, both male and female that talk like this. And then you expect that somebody wants to get married to somebody like yourself, or that somebody wants to live amongst people like you. People who talk like this, they, dis they destroy societies because it's never their fault. It's always somebody else's fault. And let me talk about something I, I noticed with the George Foreman movie. George Foreman was largely raised as the movie was depicted by a single mom. After losing his, his fight to Muhammad Ali, he fired the entire staff for the most part. Archie Moore, the great light heavyweight champion, I believe that Doc Broaddus was no longer managing him at some po certain points. Then he went and got his ass whooped by Jimmy Young. He retired. Then all of a sudden he has this religious epiphany. But you know what the difference was between George Foreman's first career and second career? Coming back, he had accountability for his mistakes. He owned up to his problems. He stopped blaming other people for why he did X, Y, and Z. Why he didn't achieve X, Y, and Z. That's what he did. And the same thing is here. The same thing is here. This is the woman who Number one, you had a baby by this man. Now, I know Memphis is a city that is struggling, but we got to talk about Memphis in its full context. Memphis also has some of the best black minds in the United States. Memphis also has, if we we're going to be honest, some of the best black business owners in the, in the country. It has always been a place for affluent blacks. It's just been outshined by places like Atlanta. But we all know that Memphis is a city that you can get it on in. You can do very well in Memphis, despite what's happening in Memphis. Detroit, we all know there's affluent folk in Detroit. Chicago, we know these cities, St. Louis, we know that. But places like Memphis, we understand that Memphis has talented people. We can't get around that. Why are you not in that vicinity then of those men? Hmm? Why are you not there? See, when we have these conversations and we ask these questions, people want to start rebutting those questions or issuing a rebuttal to those particular questions by saying, you know, oh, you guys hate black women. You know, you hate these people or something like that. And that, that is completely against the point. The concept is, how is it that you, ma'am, selected a man, decided to have a baby by a man, 
that would not be there? Were you a woman that was worth keeping or being there? Every woman feels that's the case that she is, right? We all feel as people that we are better than better than what we generally are. But typically, we can feel that way without actually proving any value to, to the other people. Because if you're valuable, people know it for the most part. Even if you're not valuable, you're showing, you're showing strides that you are. So if you're valuable to the opposite group, you're going to get a valuable person. That's typically what works, how it works. Very seldomly, as you go through life and you keep creating value, you don't get less. Usually you get more, usually in theory. Okay. That is usually in theory. Okay. That is usually the case. All right. Now what you're talking to me about is something that doesn't make any sense. You're talking to me about something that is stupid because you're blaming somebody else for the man that you chose. And then you didn't have the resources when you had the baby to, to put this young man in a situation. Now it's his fault. No, but you raised him. Why is it always somebody's fault? Like now, if now here's the situation: if the if the if the young man does very well in life, I've noticed this with some of the sisters. Whenever the young man fails, he's a gang member. He gets killed. You see the mom there. She comes to the podium. I did the best I could. That's the argument. I even told my mom she used to have some of those arguments. I said, "You got to get away from that." What does that mean? No, as a as a as a parent, here's where you made a mistake. I pointed them out one day. This is true. And the look on her face, you know, my mom was a great mom, but I had to tell him, wow, this is how you feel about your mother. No, 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 no. Look at the point. You're talking about something that doesn't make sense right now. Deal with what I'm talking to you about. You're trying to get away from what I'm telling you on a guilt complex, but you're not going to get away. Let's come back and deal with what we're dealing with today. And she didn't want to deal with it, but we're going to come back and deal with what I'm talking about. Let's deal with the position and we can't get around the position. The position is this here the topic let's come back to that this has no bearing on how i feel about you or what i've appreciated you for or nothing but it can't get away from your imperfections let's deal with this and eventually we were able to, to, to see fault in what and what i was trying to prove she agreed but she had to come to the point a lot of black women in america and some black men but in the case of black women i've seen the problem of our uh of our striding for excellence as a community when they make a mistake we we can't have an honest conversation about it. And so we want to get off topic to how somebody feels about why you're questioning me. Or we're dealing with the fact that you don't like black women or you hate us or you whatever. And you know what? I used to fall into those things and, and get upset and make comments. But now I'm, I'm dealing with a concept here. We're not trying to say that you don't love your children. We're not trying to say that you didn't do the best that you could. But we're saying that that wasn't good enough. Let's deal with the topic as to why. What mistake did you contribute? You don't want to admit to no mistake. So how are we going to get better as a community then when the mistakes are happening and then you don't want to take accountability for at least what you've done? You can't grow. You want the black community to get better at the same time while ignoring your mistakes and admitting all the black men's mistakes. Was his dad supposed to be there? Yes, he was. Did you choose him? Yes, you did. Is there any mistake in that? How did you raise the kid? The kid went the wrong direction. Oh, it's not your fault. It's the dad's fault. That's the problem here. That's why black America can't be taken seriously. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you subscribe to the bell. I'm out.